in any population that has been studied, somewhere around 50%, 60% of patients who have the condition don't know that they have the condition, despite the fact that they may have, have gone to physicians to, because of symptoms. Uh, and what is important is the recognition that, that, that the patients have this condition because this is a condition of older people who are very often smokers and they think that having symptoms, getting breathless, coughing up some sputum, is normal. And we now know that treatments can improve breathing problems, can reduce exacerbation rates, and improve quality of life or health status in, in patients. So we have very many treatments now that are do have some effectiveness. We do not, unfortunately, have treatments that cure this. Um, uh, but there are uh, attempts at newer treatments coming, coming now to, to try and alter the, really the progression of the disease, which is, uh, is a major problem in this condition since the condition progresses. I think the next challenge is to uh, to provide newer therapy that might actually alter what you might term the progression of the disease or the natural history of the disease. Uh, and there are some uh, uh, trials going on at the moment which might show us that we can actually intervene in this, in this condition. And then to the future there are all sorts of uh, newer treatments, stem cells and so on, that, that we might actually be able to reverse the damage that, that can occur in, in COPD in the lungs.